Hey there, it's Boots Owen here. This is another washing machine. I'll have a quick look around and show you what's inside. Ultimately, the plan for this is to destroy it somehow, so in the comments, tell me what you think. It's got a plastic plastic tub on this one. So, yeah, let me know what you think, if there's a good way to destroy it. This one has some damage, as you can see to the front there, but let's first have a look at the model number. It's around here on the back. It's an Amica, model AWI510LP. I think from the writing there that it's made in Poland or maybe the Czech Republic let me know people on this channel seem to know where these things come from so yeah tell me where it's from looks overall quite clean so I was quite surprised to find this one left out and I was glad to take it it was missing its top obviously missing its soap drawer and the knob here in the front is damaged and missing its cover it looks like someone's kind of ground it around with something like a spanner or something there I don't really know what that's about it looks okay generally, apart from that. Very clean. Clean rubbers. Seems to turn okay. Doesn't seem to be any issue there. Suspension springs are in place on top. Let's push it over and have a look underneath. Underneath is a bit of rust on that motor, but it looks like a pretty standard commutator universal washing machine motor I've checked the lint filter on it. It's clear made a video about that. That'll be up soon Belt and all is in place like really you can see that looks spotlessly clean I can't imagine this is a couple of years old or I can't imagine why it was left out for scrap Any ideas let me know It could just be that someone cosmetically damaged it and that was enough for them to decide it wasn't worth keeping Let's get it back up again and have a look. So we've got a big ballast on top there. It has been sitting out in the rain, that's why it's all wet. We've got a ballast ring of concrete on the front. This ballast uh, looks very well formed. It's quite quite accurate concrete compared to some of them. Cold water only fill over here. Coming into the soap drawer. Soap drawer is obviously missing. Rubber hose down there into the tub. Quite a simple model. You've got your pressure switch over here. At the back there you've got your power coming in to the filter, power then goes on over here to the control module, the PCB. All you've got here is the power in cables and the cables over to the solenoid valves over here. Then you've got cables going down to the door lock and the motor. See the door interlock there. We saw the motor underneath and the pump. There's nothing really to this machine. It's got the kind of glass door that I like, the one that doesn't have any dishing on it. It's just a straightforward Oh, actually no it does, it has a bit of an angle on the top and no angle on the bottom but it still makes a good washing up bowl or that kind of thing if you want to recycle them Inside all the paddles are in place it Doesn't ha seem to have any dints or any damage it Seems to be running okay it's Strange, I really don't understand why it was left out but as I say somebody had a heavy hand on this and managed to knock that off and it's really the gouge marks here that make me wonder what happened and maybe it got stuck and then they forced it and broke it and likewise, I don't know where the drawer has gone or where the top's gone. I like this feature here. It's got a little smiley face. <laughs> it's got a little man running for the rapid wash. I've not seen little icons like that before on a washing machine. Not much to it, really. Really, I'm just looking for ideas on how to smash it. I have a feeling I'm just going to hot wear it and throw a brick in it, because that's what I tend to do. Over here. This is the Indesit W133. I've put up a video about this. This one is gross by comparison, completely filthy. And it's also going to get a brick. So if you've got some kind of an idea for a buddy smash or a two-in-one smash or one on top of the other smash, I've done most of these things already. So I'm looking for new ideas. If you've got any new ideas, tell me about it in the comments. Okay, excellent. Thanks for watching. See you later.